Yeah. For this yeah. one, you have at least cover from yeah. this building. Yeah. Yeah. It's stacked on this side. So Jeremy would probably want to, uh, and then he, could, he has a perfect picture of the entire yeah. versus his back, right? And mm. if you're coming from this way, he's already cleared that space. Yes. By himself, yeah, plenty of fucking threats can come out here, right? But we want to we want to keep the space that we've dominated, right? So let's not turn our back to space that we haven't cleared, okay? So he's going to come from here, and the idea is to expose the least amount of possible of your body while getting a good good enough observation or angle to see if there's any bad guys in shoot. So you want to clear as much of this room as you can by with, without exposing yourself and uh, and be able to take a bad guy out. Right? So Jeremy's going to go ahead and. Uh, demonstrate it. He's going to start by stacking himself over here. And when he stacks, he keeps the muzzle of his gun, right? Let's say we're doing stealth or whatever. We're not fully dynamic yet. Uh, he doesn't want this person to see that he's coming in, right? Let's say that he's been operating silently. He's moved up here like a ninja, all sneaky, right? And then the last thing he does is points his barrel right here. There's the guy waiting. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Yeah, okay. So, all right. So, go ahead. Well, the first thing you notice about what I'm doing that he exposes back to the other side that we said. So first, thing clear, no. first thing you clear. Well, he has to at some point. Yeah. Okay. You have to. You have to at some point. Okay. Have you noticed how I play with that part of the door? Yeah. What do I do? I do like if my gun, uh, like if I have an extension, like a laser, right? Mm -hmm. I'm starting here. So you guys just go this way. Yeah. Very quick. Okay. So as Vin said, obviously I'm not exposing my gun inside. That would be my first mistake. Okay. Mm -hmm. As we can see. We can do a lot of the work from outside. Why would I go inside when I can do most mm -hmm. of my work from outside, right? right? So I'm coming here, and my job is starting actually right there, right? My job is starting mm. right at this angle. I'm taking, mm. I'm putting my body in an angle in order to be able to see the first part of the inside. Mm -hmm. That makes sense? Yeah. And then I'm going to play like if I had a laser on my gun. So imagine that I have an extension of my gun. I'm starting here, so I can see on the front, obviously. My gun doesn't show up inside, right? Just to show you. Yeah. And then what, I, what I'm going to be starting doing is just rotate again from outside. And then I would scan like that from outside. Mm -hmm. That means that at no point I expose myself without being able to see first inside. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to go slowly like this. And that's what we call slicing the pie, right? I'm slicing, I'm slicing. Obviously, if I'm staying here, I'm not good. So someone can come from the, uh, the stairs and see. So I'm gonna, I'm always gonna put my body in such a distance to have an advantage, right? So from here, that would look like that. Here, you guys can go to the other side. Yeah. Okay. Then you're gonna see it from what here, here, and here. I'm gonna take more distance. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna go a little bit on the outside because I want to cover my body with that, door, with that wall, right? Here. And now. I have almost the room complete. What do I? What point do I miss? What? What, what are my dead spots? Uh, okay. Still. Obviously, because even though I take an angle, yeah. I couldn't see here, mm. and I couldn't see here. So Vin's gonna explain to you the next step after that. If you guys understand what he's saying when when he was clearing all the way and he came back out, so like if there's a hallway, it's tight. I can't. I might not be able to come out, but he has the space. Utilize the space so that when I'm coming to clear here, if there's a guy here. Right, coming yeah. down the stairs, he doesn't see me, starts taking shots at me. But then once I decide to come in, I have to I have to commit to one side or the other. Right? So now you can butt what we call the butt hook, you can come in here, right? Or he can come in straight in, and then the number two man's gonna do whatever. So uh from here, okay, I've got about ten percent, right, of the room and ten percent on each side because it's almost what do we call it? Do you remember what kind of room this room is? This one's middle. So center. Center, center. center fed. Okay. So you have almost the equal amount of distance on both sides of, of the wall. Okay. So it's called the center fed. So you probably have about 10% on each side. So you're just going to have to fucking wing it. Right. If you're by yourself. If you're, if you're not, then you go one side. The number two man comes the other way. Right. Okay. So now once, once the number one and number two man have decided to come in, or if you're by yourself, okay, um, you made your decision. 
Don't stay here. Don't come in and clear from here and stay here. Mm -hmm. Move yourself to an area where you already know you've cleared. That I can either, uh, if I see the stairwell and I see it going up like this, right? This is a decision I might want to make is probably <coughs> clear to here, right? And then once, I, once I've cleared as much as possible, I come here and then I move here and I, and I can, if somebody's coming up the stairs, if I go this way, and I can't, I can't really engage them if they're coming off the other side, right? Some, a decision you might have to make, okay? So, does that make sense? Yeah. Yep. All right. Maybe so before we go to the next step, let's do it from, you guys from outside. Yeah. And you see that from outside again. Okay. Then we have a clear vision of what it is. Okay. So again, in this scenario, we imagine we are all coming from here, okay? Obviously, if I'm coming here from this way, then somehow I have to start pying on my way. That makes sense? Yeah. Because obviously I'm already exposed, so mm. that would blow my plan, right? But on that scenario, we are coming from here, okay? So here is not a good position because if you would be inside, you can you still can see me from there, okay? So you can even start pying. That would be about here. Here is a good, good, good start for me, right? Because right here, I'm inside. I start my, my what I call my scanning, slicing the pie, right? Now I have a visual with inside, okay? So as, as Vin said, if you would have a corridor, it would just compress. That's not the case here, so I'm gonna use the space, right? So I'm gonna do it here. And again, I'm gonna play with that, uh, that angle, right? Access, that right? Access, right? Geometry, right? Exactly. It's your fulcrum right there. So here. Um, when you do this, a lot of what we see before you guys try it okay, is you see this a lot. Okay, get the gun in the fight. Okay, so why would I? Why would or or if I have all this space up? If I have all this space, if it's open, open up. Okay, if you're if you need it, if it's closed, then come close. Okay, so utilize your space as much as possible here, right? And then I see we see this too. We see this. I, just, I swear to God, you see it. That's movie shit. Even, and they still do it. People yeah. still do it. Okay. And cops do it. You know why? Because they're 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 taught to not point their gun at because there's a lot of civilians, right? Or they go like this. Okay. And cops still do it now. And they don't get that gun up in the fight, right? So my tr my indexing and my and my learning my trigger pep and knowing where my wall is is my is when I is making my decision, right? So that way I don't have to do this for fear of shooting an innocent person. From here, I can come quickly here, mm -hmm. right? Versus here, now I gotta deal with this, so I gotta come up here, and then I gotta come up here, okay? So this and this, we don't wanna see today, okay? Now, if you have to go upstairs, you're looking upstairs, you know, fine, go up here, okay? Or, what else can I use this? So, when they're passing you up. If someone's moving around me, and I need to point in a safe direction, okay? Here, or if I do here, I have to come all the way up, watch out for me. Just, I don't want to flag them, okay? I don't want to have to, I don't want to come up like this, so I can use this, or when you're in the staff, too, right? Think about what's easier. Are you gonna flag somebody as you come up this way, right? Mm -hmm. or, or you can just drop it down. Mm -hmm. If you're the number two man, what's faster? Right? Drop so Jeremy, down. come here, okay? and we're just, we're just gonna do an entry. This may not be 100% like exactly how you're gonna see it, but I'm just gonna show you just where to keep your weapon pointed. Okay, so here, 